What do you guys think of pineapple on pizza? I like pizza on pineapple. We're not That's going. We're not that. doing this. The race has started. <laughs> the race has started. No one in the chat answered my question of like what their favorite like uh, weather season was. What the heck? Whatever. I'm very disappointed in them right now. The chat. I'm in. I like CSS. All right, that shop's really good. This blood shop is very oh, you can't nice. do anything though. You have to. No, you have to throw for that. You simply can't just buy that. That's that's not acceptable. Yeah, but you but you want the torch. Is the thing. I want the torch. I want the torch. I want the torch more than the cutlass. I don't really care about the cutlass that much. <laughs> I know you hate the cutlass. Well, no, even like if it was a good weapon. Well, I care more if it was a good weapon, but <laughs> the, the, the torch is really important. Oh, uh, G50, you can't. Oh, no, G50 said. Oh, G50. <laughs> you forgot about the white, dude. You can't forget about the white there. What the heck? Yeah, Rebel Eyes uh, did not see that conjurer, which G50, like, I can help him catch up quite a bit. It's pretty good. Ola Shriner is nuts. Apparently your mic is off speedy or something is going on. Someone in the chat is saying. Wow, yeah, I'm a dumbass. Uh, my mic was off on the stream <laughs> cast. Okay. That's funny. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. So that 1-1 one, one Shriner I, I think is, is <laughs> one that G50 should go back and Thanks for pointing that out. Um, shrine. You know, as always, I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> What was the sh what was in the shrine? There was uh, there was space and a blood shrine, so like you can get the map and get the blood weapon and then is that open a, your is that a shop potion? The shovel lies on the left. Is that a po no? It's not. Oh, maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe it was a potion. I wouldn't have kept going. Okay, no, buy the torch. What the heck are you doing? Buy the torch, <laughs> you fitty. Come on. Do you hate torches that much? I don't understand. No one really likes torches, I guess. Wait, so what did G Fitty uh, do there to get out? Did he have a, like an apple or something? He had the, he had an apple. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, but now he doesn't have the gold to buy anything, so he has no business in this conjurer this time around. Yeah. What did he get from it before uh, before dying last time? I don't he think didn't get anything. He had, he had money. Nine, he had ninety-seven. Oh. He had ninety-seven last time. I think you go for shovel here personally. Okay. okay. Bring a mic fairly good with the uh, the obsidian. Shovel's okay too, I wouldn't go for it. But yeah, I don't fun. know. The thing is, like, I know the chance of getting a ring that's gonna speed, like, if you get courage shovel or, like, shovel strike, I think that's gonna speed you up more than any, any ring is going to. Torches deal no damage. I'm aware Tor of that. Torch. I'm aware torches don't do damage. Well, okay, Torch of Strength gives you damage. I know. I know Sailor Moon's just sassing me right now. <laughs> damage doesn't matter if you don't know where the hell you're going. I, uh, yeah, um, Rebel Eyes, uh, pulling ahead my whole zone here. Uh, yeah, G Fitty, maybe, uh, not quite as familiar with the Cutlass there, kind of needlessly popping a shield spell against a single Minotaur. Yeah. But it's like, you, you know, you got the Cutlass, just poke it, and you parry the charge. Yeah, Zone 2 is the one zone where Cutlass can't, like, get you knocked into bad things as often as, like, Tar. Yeah, I think you take Darkness here. Um, you're, the, the Might's nice, but not super important. Especially with Cutlass, doesn't it? Uh, gonna, it was indeed a potion. Yeah, gonna spend that one bomb. Yeah, there's the potion. potion. There you go. There you go. That's good. Now, if you like shield abuses with the potion, you can maybe catch up a little. I'm skeptical, but yeah. yeah G Fitty's gonna have to push pretty hard here. But... He really needs to get some shot for Rebel Eyes, I think. There. Yeah, that's pretty alright. Yep. Gfitty really just needs a, a different weapon in order to catch up. Like while that weapon's very good, it's not one that's gonna help him catch up if they both on the same weapon. 
unless he plays better, obviously. But at this point, we're yeah, probably gonna see a little bit of like variance in um in like item generation since G Fifty spent time in that conjure and got that uh ring of might out of it, which Revelia yeah. found elsewhere. Um, I imagine G Fifty probably darkness. gonna be looking to get off his uh, ring of darkness here, getting a free spell. Um, that could be a pawnbroker that would let you get rid of it, but. Uh, Fortunately, he does not have any bombs to. Open. I don't agree with that at all. I just don't think that's correct. It's, it's not two to four seconds. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that goals, those goals are almost messed him up. Yeah, Jeepity, uh, having a pretty good push here, but um, I mean, Revelize yeah. with a much more comfortable build with the uh, two damage ups. Uh, yeah, he's got on top of those uh, oh. those. Earphones, which you know he might break, but if, even if he does, he's still got a three-five cutlass with a oh, war drum. A war drum too, yeah. That, that, Mind kinda, you. that makes it very, very. But um, G Fitty really things. making up a lot of time here uh, onto his zone three boss. I think Revelize is taking a little bit too much time to shop now. Like G Fitty has caught up. I, I think I think Revelize is cutting, so is easing back on the shopping and just looking to push here. Although, uh, oh, oh, there, that's a weapon that's really gonna let you that's push a ahead. Spicy, spicy chance. Whoa, right, there's a, whoa, that tell monkey right, though. Right that another would tell a monkey. Right back to where he just was. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a real weapon. All right, all right. <laughs> G Fitty ditching the shield spell there to take the bomb spell. I, I can understand that. Um, absolutely zero bombs, and you're past the zones where bombs are generally These are spells. prevalent. Okay. So what, Deepfit is only like a level behind now? What's it that? About like a level and a half. He's uh, coming up on his 4-1 exit now. But, oh, uh -oh. there goes his potion. Oh, there goes his potion. No, uh, and he, he gets oh, stuck he in the bomb, and bomb. Yeah, believe it or not, swords are not very effective at parrying bombs. <laughs> you know, a blast helm and grenade charm on this seed, that's just insanity. Up in zone four, like you get to six bombs for free. Yeah, so now g in a really bad situation, still uh, fumbling around in the dark with very little health. You can go check that. Is that a conjurer back there, maybe? It no, was conjurer is in zone one. Conjurer is back in definitely has a high oh, chance of, uh, of, zone one, right. of a ring, though, so you definitely want to go check your arena. Okay, yeah, G-Fitty going to do some shopping here, because he's really scared of his current state. Uh, finding a ring of luck to replace the ring of shadows. Probably not quite what he was looking for. Yeah, that's awful. Okay. There's this stuff. Ooh, that grenade charm. Hmm? I don't know if you would have that one here. I don't know. I would have taken that Obsidian right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> GPD, you need to disable your overlay or do game capture. Oh, that guy's live on Twitch. I'm leaving this stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm. Yeah, okay. I was, I was gonna say you should be eating that ham pretty much right away. Oh, uh, no, immediately no, losing no, it to that no, warlock. GFD. Oh. No. Oh, that was really okay. scary. Those okay. bounce traps are uh, really tripping him up there. And that spider almost uh, chomping him. Spooking me a bit there. Revelize, yeah. Oof. Like oh, and G Fitty! Uh... No, the grenade charm! <laughs> G Fitty forgot about his grenade charm by the looks oh. of it. I think that's going to be one of the number one deaths this season is going to be grenade charm. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing every race, we're seeing plenty of unfamiliarity with the new weapons, and grenade charm is definitely the one that out of all of them has the biggest tendency to just, you know, well, do that. <laughs> Imagine getting stomped on by a dragon. Oh, he didn't, he didn't know. Oh no, Revelize didn't know Cursed Hearts don't count towards Potion and Need. Like, you need to get them down to half. So he, or a Scroll and Need for the Potion. So he totally just wasted his Scroll and Need. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's bad. And now he's at low health too. Making that mistake is a very, very sucky one. Well, he is at least down to his dead ringer now. Um, I'm pretty sure he could war drum dead ringer here. Absolutely, he could. Yeah. He almost doesn't need to. He has nine damage on a lunch. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Max multiplier one one war drum half. No, I was weird. I never seen that trap before. Hmm. 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 Thinking emoji. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, checking his chest here, oh, finding a ring of piercing. Mm -hmm. Not really. Uh, Better or worse than what you was... already got. 
G50 on his rerun, Conjuring Armor, this time getting Heavy Glass, pretty strong, but um, not exactly strong enough to make up a uh, four zone deficit here. But, you know, um, Gravelize is on the Necrodancer with no armor and pretty little health, so uh, this runs far from over. I mean, thankfully, we won't see him buying to a bomb here, but uh, he could be dunked by a mini-boss or, like, right or something, too, if you're careful. That well, looks like that's not going to be the case, though, as Revelize wraps this one up. Just over 10-minute time, which is pretty good considering the uh, high amount of shopping he was doing throughout. Yep. Good, um... Play by G50, like he definitely pressured Revelize, I think, into trying to push faster, and that's why Revelize started making a few mistakes there. Near the yeah, end. G50 was making a really good push up until he ran into some speed bumps in Zone 4. Um, yeah, definitely not G50's best Zone 4, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, well, Revelize spent a lot of time making a comfortable build in Zone 3. Uh, G50 just plowed right through to the exit on every floor, and uh, really closed the gap quite a bit, but... Um, Oh yeah, my stream title's wrong, isn't it? God dang it. Thanks, Jazz. Which timer do you use, by the way? Uh, I use live split. Is that why you have the extra, like, zeros to fill in the empty space? I, I no, that's just, uh... I haven't... Because that option's happy... not in W split, oh, I believe. Yeah. But happy points with this, that's all. And they're off. Alright, here we go. Race number two. Base long sword. Base long sword. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. Pick it up. Yeah. If you get Ring of Frost, you're gonna love having that. I guess. And then you need to like you never need to check for a weapon at that point either. Yeah. I think base weapons have increased in value drastically with the yeah. DLC, just because of so many alternate ways of getting damage ups or just ways of making your weapon lethal. Hey, you know, Captain, um, those one plus hour races have happened. Yeah. We, we had one happen on the first day. Yeah, yeah and it might it may have been three times are... as long. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh yeah, that's right, it was just uh, people playing Minecraft, right? <laughs> yeah. Minecraft Let's Play. Revelize looking like maybe he wanted to try and get a, a lucky charm off of that gold pile, but uh, you know, skel skeleton not really allowing for that. No, G50, no. Oh no. Or him over there. Yeah, and Minotaur then just, just kind of getting the way on him there. Yeah. That just wasn't a good lore at all on that. Yeah, it was a big time loss. And longsword's not bad, but a base longsword, um, you know, you're, you're only doing one damage and you're giving up. Uh, dagger throw strats against bosses for a marginally better weapon. Generally, it's better to just uh, stick with the dagger. Long well, sword is second only scraper here. No, I, I simply can't agree with that. That's wrong. I think like X. I, I, like base X is above everything. Base <laughs> oh, yeah, weapons yeah, yeah, I yeah, take yeah. are pretty much just the move attack weapons. X, yeah. cat, rapier. I think I take yeah. base staff though. I think you take base staff. I think that's okay. Yeah, I, I, I can I can see the argument for that. I believe there are some um, uh, deep blues openings where you can actually hit him too and get him to teleport for a bomb, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and keep your staff as well to kill the uh, queen when she comes after you. <laughs> but, um, alright. Both racers following deep blues, getting that titanium broadsword. You know, it's kind of a titanium broadsword being kind of one of those your. You know, solid tier weapons. You're not like super thrilled to find shop. it, but it's it's reliable oh, enough. That Ooh, shop. That shop is that spicy shop. meme. Mm. Yeah, that is a. Oh, oh and weapon. that trans wow, view. Oh. That's a. That is that's really good for Evelyn. Obsidian Cap, probably one of the best speed weapons in the game. Oh, and G Fiddy. Going to do this. Oh, no. Changing things slightly, and um, I would have. Slightly? That's. A lot more. I would imagine the obsidian cat is probably uh, in a bomb closet somewhere on this floor. Also, G50 losing his glass torch. 
Oh, well, dude, does transmute monsters. randomize like which items it does? It transmutes first, or is it just? Well, it, it like... probably got shifted because he picked up the glass torch while Revelize transmuted it. Right. Yeah, yeah, but it was shifted by two items. Like he saw a cursed potion and Obsidian Cat in there. So why didn't he see one of the two? Why was it like the, the flail? Oh no, out? the Revelize bat, the see. bat troll on Gfitty's side. He opening up the food shop. And the bat blocking the mole, redirecting him right over the food shop that just opened. Yeah, the item thing is weird. I don't know what the hell's going on there. I mean, it's possible that the bottom closet thing is is valid there. I'm just trying to think, like, maybe it depended on where you cast the transmute from and, like, which order of the items get transmuted. I don't know. It's not something I've ever Oh, tested. that's interesting. Oh, the... the, the hmm. Yeah, that's... Okay, uh, so... I just want to take note that Revelize totally just checked his shop after killing the shopkeeper ghost. <laughs> like maybe you forget because you know you killed him on the other floor and you have his you have his crown. Maybe you still forget, but like you what? just killed the guy again. You probably want that ring of regen. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that ring of regen. Uh, oh, oh, that's a big okay. beetle boy. Giant beetle. Little oh, scary done. for Revelize, um, but I feel like you uh, you used the cursed potion and you just let those health regen. Ah, uh, no. Going yeah, boss handling it nice to end up seeing cat really putting exactly. a lot of work. You're going to your boss, how do you risk the health? If you know, you could just, I don't know. And G-Fitty kind of struggling to keep up with this, uh, you know, this subsidian cat. Yeah, it's a pretty fast yeah. one. Also, I have to get going, so it's some... some oh, oh G-Fitty! Oh, oh, I... no, no, no! Just not paying attention and... It's standing in front of a blue dragon! Ooh, that, that's not how you want to go out. Alright. Well, you guys have fun with the race. See so you, these peoples. Yeah. Take care, Oblivion. Bye bye. Boy. Oh, that bad. The bad fucking blocked him, the Blade Master, from going into the trap. That's really fucking epic, actually. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that or like that situation. That's funny. Yeah, once again, we've got a pretty similar situation to last race. Gravel Eyes, way up in the fire fire lead, fire. with a pretty safe build, too. Gfitty, uh, struggling to catch back up. Maybe gonna try and get that Obsidian Cat that, uh, Gravel Eyes got. I don't know if he saw how Gravel Eyes got it, though. But he, um, he definitely probably would want a really fast weapon in this situation. <sighs> Three extra bombs for Revelize. That um, means he's certainly in a great situation uh, on the Necrodancer fight. Alright, G Fitty finishing up Fortissimal all again. We'll see uh does he just go for that titanium broadsword again? Yeah, gonna stick with that. Um you know, maybe it'll serve him a little better this time around. Uh Revelize though. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna take a miracle for G Fitty to to pull this one out. Uh with Revelize having an over two zone lead here, very strong weapon. Um regen with man with um Regen with two spells, Fireball and Freeze, probably the best two spells to have with it. Uh, he's going to be able to pop one of those spells in any cases where uh, where situations start to get a little scary. Got, even has Lucky, Lucky Charm there, so that Black Bat um, doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, free spell right there. Very easy to lose fight. You just walk forward and kill him. Okay, so G Fitty this time, leaving yeah, the uh, uh... yeah leaving the glass torch on the floor uh, and getting the obsidian cat and curse potion. Chat. You know what it actually probably was earlier. They might have. Um... Well, no, wait. Luck doesn't affect like I hate them anymore. Or should should it? No, luck does. Luck only affects crates. Right, as far as I right. Know. 
Okay, I was wondering if maybe that was. Okay, this time, uh, yeah. Wait, oh, whoa, see, it was whoa, in the whoa. food shop. Okay, okay. The obsidian cat was okay. in the food shop that got eaten <laughs> on his last run. Oh, that's terrible. But why wouldn't? Never mind. It is kind of amusing that even after the uh, the mass trans meet, though, that there was a ham in the food shop. That's uh, some that's some pretty uh, crazy luck there. Yeah. Uh, on to zone three, but meanwhile, uh, Revel Eyes on 5 3. Just looking to close this one out. Uh, you know, still just as healthy and tanky as before. Uh, can really easily just, uh, when he reaches the exit room here, pop a freeze, even pop the gigantism if he really wants, and just mop it all up. That said, it looks like he's uh, struggling a bit to find the exit room. It is the bottom room, the type the bottom room or the room up top there. Okay, I guess it is the top room. Good old uh, zone five where you assume it can't be the first door and you just walk past it and check every yeah. other room. Yeah. Gotta love it. So on Dead Ringer here, it's a right side spawn, really straightforward. Riders kind of get in the way. Interesting <laughs> freeze. <laughs> I think oh, it was. Right. Oh no. No, I, well, I think the freeze was right. I, I think the rider was, was going to get in the way. It was. Uh, the rider was not going to get in the way. He was fine. Really? It looked like he was. Yeah, he had a cat though. He just, uh, you know, just smacks it. I guess. Well. Took a dead ringer dunk, but uh, heavy plate keep him safe, uh, combined with that protection charm. So, gonna live to see this run through. And regen even patching him most of the way right back up, so should be a pretty straightforward Necrodancer fight. Uh, even those uh, Necro bombs, if he gets hit by one, are only gonna do half a heart damage. Dire bat, someone There's to start off with. Bad. Very easy. Five at the back. Okay, halfway through the fight, three, three hits remaining. Oh, Ogre spawn, that's a little scary, but um, not as bad as the, pot, the potential red dragon spawn. Getting confused, gonna just pop that freeze for safety. I'm bursting down that Ogre with a fireball spell, and that's GG. So Revelize wins this set. Going up 2 to 0. Although, as always, you know, this is a tournament where every point counts. So, we are going to see a third match here. races with the seeds in. Looks like we're about ready to get going here. Uh, what are the uh, current point records on these two racers right now? Anyway, don't remember offhand. Nope, oh, we're going. I may have missed the timer slightly. I hope you guys forgive me. Let's see, standings. We got titanium tier right now. Um, Revelize. Oh, Revelize is looking to get into the promotional with this set. Um, coming into this set with a 3-0 uh, record. I'm looking to make it a flawless 6-0 if uh, he can win this one. Uh, G-Fitty, meanwhile, um, with two and one, a 2-1 and one record coming into this. So, probably not going to be seeing the promotional this week around. 
but um, <laughs> Gfinny trying really hard to get into this uh, urn. I'm just gonna tank the, the spike trap to push it down the trap door. I like it. Revelai is taking a little bit of a better approach to this, although they, they both did have the waste of bombs, including an obsidian longsword there. So obsidian longsword, <laughs> apple, and earth spell. Pretty solid for a 1 1 urn. Looks like uh, Revelai has also picked up a uh, ice spirit familiar at some point. Uh, that can be potentially be useful. G50 getting his uh, lucky charm right there. Gonna improve his crates, give him bat protection. It's a nice uh, pickup. Good spell for this boss. Oh, G50 doesn't? Okay. Yeah, there we go. A little hesitation. All you have to do with the Earth Spell is just walk forward and pop it. There's absolutely no variance when it comes to Coral Rift with Earth Spell. Purple. Oh, they both sucked. <laughs> uh, Gluttony oh, Charm well. could could work out it nicely in the long run, it. but you need to find some good food. But they do both have that lucky charm, which means finding a ham out of a crater or barrel is pretty likely. Um, for those who haven't been keeping up with all the changes in Amplified, the glut um, the or not the Gluttony Charm, the Lucky Charm has been tweaked to try and reduce racing variants. Um, previously, it would shift to all the item tiers around to try and give you theoretically better items, but in the long run it just meant you saw different items, not necessarily better. We had problems with, uh, race was kind of getting the uh, short end of the stick uh, just based on arbitrary decisions on when to take luck. Um, you know, sometimes taking luck early gave you great items, sometimes it gave you crap items, and a lot of times races were being decided for that. So, it was banned in previous seasons, but with the DLC, it's been reworked. It no longer affects your chest. All it does is give you the same old bad immunity, but also upgrade any um, crate contents that have straight upgrades available. So crates with gold uh, now contain 50 gold with luck active. Um, crates with apple, cheese, or drumstick now contain ham. Um, crates with bombs contain three bombs. I believe that's uh, the extent of the effects, but it's really nice for... Uh, just, you know, being sure that you'll probably find more bombs and, uh, you know, enough bombs for the Necromancer and enough food to keep yourself healthy. But that charm from right, the ring still does what it used to? Or no? The, the ring, ring does exactly the same thing as the charm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, oh. we've, uh, there's okay. been some discussions and suggestions about maybe, uh, Feeling some feeling that the lucky charm was maybe a little strong to make it just like upgrade food by one tier and make the ring of luck upgrade by two tiers and make them stackable. Because um, yeah, as it is, the the lucky charm is pretty strong for how easy it is to obtain, and uh, the ring of luck is uh, even more useless than it was before. Yeah, I didn't realize they were exactly the same. Now that's very bad. I, I thought ring of luck still did the old stuff. I know. Okay. Um, but that's whatever. That's at this rate, we annoying. really have a race here, though. Uh, both yeah, racers good. on Kanga at the same time with. No, jump on the ice. It'll freeze them. With oh, no. More or less uh, identical builds. Um, oh, that Earth was pretty epic, actually. Revelai is uh, going to just Ozuma and skip, uh, you know, skip it on the flawless. G50 taking the time to do the fight, but um, not then not checking the chest. So if you're gonna take the time to do the fight when you have a quick kill available, you should at least uh, you know, be checking your chest to try and take advantage of the fact that you just spent more time on the fight. But Revelis is really not comfortable with like diving into things for the uh, the freeze. At least like when it when it's just like straight up. Like one does he go like doing it, it looks like. Okay, and it looks like yeah, it looks like Revelize at some point did get that ham, uh, sitting on a nice seven hearts. Uh while G Fitty is still on the same build, but no extra hearts for him. But um <laughs> both racers in the exact same room right now, so this is a tight one for sure. Um but definitely gotta give the edge to Revelize with that extra health. As we've always talked about before, uh, health is kind of usable as, you know, a resource that you can cash in for tanking damage or, uh, 
you know, blood casting magic. Um, that said, there isn't really a spell that's particularly worth blood casting that uh, either player has right now, um, other than the heal for blood casting on the stairs for free uh, regeneration. But um, spamming Earth spell isn't going to do uh, a whole lot of good in, the, in most cases. G50 kind of playing a little scared of these back kids despite having luck. Um, you got to have a little bit more faith in your lucky charm there. Especially considering how close this race is. Revli is kind of pulling away with after a much better 4-3. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and oh, G50, no! G50 just getting spooked by that by that blitz of the uh, on the Banshee and the Blade Master. Uh, attacking the wrong target there and going down to a Banshee, which... Whew, even at full health, those Banshees pack a wall up three hearts of damage, so would have one-shot him regardless of his health. That is a case, though, where, uh, the, you know, just a, a Panic Earth Spell Pop can really do you a lot of good. Um, because, um, you know, if you are getting rushed by enemies, you don't know what to do, just pop an Earth Spell. Uh, you know, enemies will have a lot harder time reaching you then. So G50 back to the start, gonna do the same routine he did last time, just tanking the spike trap. Um, Revly is just gonna do shopping now that he knows that uh, the pressure's off, and all he has to do is cl is clear the remainder of this race of this run to win the race. A little too much shopping, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go get this cheese. You know, he's got the bombs to spare thanks to that lucky charm. Just granting so many uh, three packs of bombs out of crates. <laughs> the Earth Dragon kind of getting stuck there. Ooh, that's a little... a little bit of a tight situation. Um, cutting out his only... cutting off his only route out of the room with the uh, Earth Dragon, but handling it just fine. So on to 5-3 as G30 finishes his first boss. Gonna get the Gluttony Charm this time around. Uh, and just looking to, you know, when you're this far behind, you're also just playing for safety or hoping that your opponent goes down to something absolutely absurd and that you can then just the overtake, it with, overtake oh, your opponent crown. with a safe run of your own. There you go. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, nice earth spell <laughs> nice there. Nice earth. Man, that's exactly what I'm talking about with defensive earth spell usage. Just popping it to push away swarms that are uh, giving you too much trouble. Trevelyn is probably just going to do lures here. Yeah. Yeah, just keep it uh, keep it as an extremely safe dead ringer. Don't risk uh, Earth spell killing him. You don't want to crash your game at this point. <laughs> Earth spell, uh, it's a lot better than it was back in the uh, the pre-testing days uh, when it crashed the game like on every other use. <laughs> um, but it still has its uh, share of flakiness. Just the other day in the Jack of Games versus Miantic sort case, uh, we had Jack with a slight deficit. Um, Dead in on Dead Ringer as Maya was starting her uh, Necromancer fight, try to Earth spell Dead Ringer to save some time, uh, and the game just flat out crashed. Uh, they had to redo that race. It was a little unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, my, um, but Riffleyes on to Necromancer now. Blood healing out of that freeze. Ooh, getting a little bit of a scary Red Dragon there, but the. Uh, Snow Brew, really saving a lot of trouble there. Not the best of lures, but... Yeah, remember Lizo is not like luring, it seems like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the teleportation oh, crowd no, taking no, in, protecting him from that blast. Ground, and right, that's oh, it. There we go. Alrighty. So Revelize with a flawless week one, we're definitely going to see him in the Titanium promotional tournament. Uh, looking to move it up into the Obsidian bracket. Um, whereas G50, unfortunately, getting swept here um, means he's definitely not going to be seeing that bracket 
at least not this week around, but, um, you know, there's always next week, and, well, there's a whole five of them, actually, so plenty of opportunities to still move up. But, um, well played to both racers. That last race was really close. Um, pretty much almost beat for beat up until the death in 